Hey, welcome back my beautiful people. So uh, I haven't been posting as much lately because I'm in the midst of some personal crisis, but uh, it gets really tricky with schedules sometimes and everything. But uh, I have been anticipating my own reading at this point, to be honest, uh, lol. <laughs> but uh, I do feel like I uh, will uh, post more regular regularly. I always get stuck uh, at this word uh, in the upcoming days, so I will try to, my, to make some sort of a schedule which will uh, enable things to kind of uh, flow more smoothly, so that's something that will be on the horizon. But yes, today we will be doing this reading on topic, how does your crush see you, how do they view you? So you will have three piles to choose from, you have cook, come and have. So pick one of these and we will check how does your crush see you. So for those who chose this cook. Just just a moment, guys, just so that I can take these placements. There's something about you and all people. Your crush feels like you are a very gallant person toward the elderly in a way. So this is something very significant that they may have kind of noticed about you. But I'm also sensing that your crush feels like you are a very generous person with this generosity. However, not as much in love with the lovers reversed. Uh, you are very generous to people who really need your generosity, the, uh, how do I say, pleasant aspects of your spirit. However, uh, there is an element that you have learned to withhold some of your affection, attention. Excuse me. Sorry about the chair, guys. Yeah, but uh, you have learned to withhold some of the uh, precious gems of your inner and outer uh, pleasantness when it comes to love, when it comes to romance. For some of you, you may have dealt with the Scorpio or Pisces individual. I also have strong uh, Cancer and let me just see Virgo vibes. So it's almost like one of these characters or one of the people with those placements strong have taught you how to kind of really stand up uh, for yourself and reject one-sided connection, one-sided uh, relationships. So, and for a lot of you, if you do know that you withheld some uh, affection from your crush, they could be feeling like you are withholding uh, your gentleness from them. So there's an element to that. Uh, it's almost like you are this kind and uh, embracing soft person with the King of Cups reversed. However, not uh, for them for some reason. You do have the Five of Swords reversed. You're currently in the state of uh, avoiding conflict, pursuing optimistic connections, optimistic people, optimistic love and romantic prospects. So they kind of know that if they are not on point, their energies currently won't indulge them. Uh, we do have this protectiveness and union. They also feel like you're somebody who's very protective over your romantic partners or your potential romantic partners. So 
they kind of feel like uh, they either choose you or, or they lose you basically so uh, you're not somebody who will tolerate third party nonsense or anything uh, related to that so it's almost like you have grown into your queen of swords mode king of swords mode when it comes to people who intentionally or purposely want to mess up with your expectations with uh you know your peace of mind especially when it pertains to romance and romantic possibilities so they do feel like you're somebody who is very contemplative with this persephone and the hermit and i mean if i recall right the persephone is the goddess of both uh, hell and i don't know flowers um so it's kind of you have uh, that element of mixing and meshing the elements within you. So, as I said, this person sees you as somebody who is very contemplative type of personality. However, you aren't naive, you aren't gullible. Somehow, some way, there's something very grounded about your essence. You're always very down to earth. We have both tenacity and surrender, which is kind of slightly juxtapositional energy and vibe uh, to me in this one so it's almost like I'm getting for some of you your crush is feeling you as the type of a person who is allowing yourself to get lost to get devoured by your mental interests um, and with the seven of cups reverse this uh, with the abundance of options reverse it's almost like you are uh, folks with the strength of hyperfixation on one of your interests one month or uh, one half of a year. You master it and then you go to the next one. So, uh, yeah, your crush just feels simply that you have mastered many fields simultaneously, somehow, some way. So there is an element to that. There's also this aspect of your crush feeling uh, as you are this person who is striving, not only good, but striving on your own, maybe in the midst of all your uh, mental interests. It's, I'm almost getting that some of your, uh, some of you guys almost took this incarnation, this lifetime, uh, so that you can dedicate yourself to your mental interests. Uh, but however, your crush feels like this, that this is not limiting. Uh, to you. It's not like you don't have people that want to socialize with you or um, that want to hang out with you uh, and it's not like you don't have a rich family life so there's definitely something correlated to that. Your crush is also viewing you as somebody unafraid to be colorful and vibrant in the way how you represent yourselves. Uh, as much as you have a colorful and vibrant mentality, there's also something that uh, that pertains to your appearance that they see uh, like this. Especially the, if you are a person of darker skin color, uh, your, crush, your crush is basically mesmerized how uh, beautiful, uh, vibrant colors look uh, on you or how they kind of emphasize your beauty. This is something that I'm getting strong with. I'm also getting some of you may, uh, I'm also getting that there may be somebody like Albino here. Let me know if that makes sense for some of you. Uh, but somehow, some way, your outfits always perfectly complement your skin color, or you're just very bright uh, when it comes to your skin, um, but vibrant in the way you dress. So. Your crush could be viewing you as somebody who has stopped giving and investing in love with the King of Cups and Lovers Reverse. It can be either because of a Scorpio or uh, because you have encountered multiple people, multiple personality with personalities with toxic masculinity mindset. And so there is a portion of you that felt stuck, that felt kind of slightly punished by the karmic circumstances beyond your control. So um, that's something that we have to um, kind of emphasize for the read. 
However, there are there are also noticing that your it's almost like your whole energetic DNA is changing, and now you're attracting, especially for those of you interested in masculine or so masculine energy, uh, you are attracting a uh, positive and uplifting masculine presence in your life, not only in romantic but also in friendly way for the others. For guys watching, or if you are not interested in men, so something definite, uh, definitely worthy of mentioning. So I'm also getting that for some of you, a lot of uh, highly valuable men uh, in the society may have expressed some sort of public interest uh, or affection toward you, or uh, have said that you are, uh, how is it said? Uh, cheat potential for example the men that are taken are allowed to uh, cheat on their partner with you if they had an opportunity or something like that uh, you know how we make sometimes those lists with our partners or something uh, of the people with whom we would forgive uh, if they cheated us with or something like that so as i said a few uh, high value men has expressed interest uh, lately over you in the uh, general public and so this is somehow elevating your rating hey but if you dig this small report give it a small like so that it reaches more people i do have the jupiter in aquarius energy so i just feel like you gather uh, eccentric people around yourself and people feel like this is liberating <coughs> I will also say for some of you, you may have have you may have had certain conflicts or strife with your partner uh, figures because of some odd people in your uh, company. So maybe just pay attention uh, if there are some people that whose I don't know a reputation is not the best or something, and you are really wanting to impress a partner figure of yours. Uh, maybe just pay a little bit deeper attention when it comes to that. But I'm only getting that for a small portion of this pile. And it's not something that's kind of standing out, but the message is here nonetheless. And then there's this Jupiter and Scorpio. Your crush sees you as somebody with a uh, secretive past for a lot of you. We also have Scorpio in uh, 12th house. So there's many sudden drastic events that uh, completely shift, shifted and changed the entire course of your lifetime uh, more than once uh, in your life and this is something that your crush could be realizing about you. We also have Aries in the fifth house so uh, I'm getting like Aries dominated people are attracted to you. Uh, maybe if you somebody if you liked somebody they always had like moon in aries ascendant in aries main sign in aries uh you can even have prominent aries and so you attract similar placements but we have tours in fourth house and so yeah i'm just sensing that people feel like you have gotten a lot of gentleness in your lifetime from a uh, close feminine person and people in your environment so maybe you were really nurtured by your aunties moms uh, mother figures i mean moms uh, right so um just i'm sensing like powerful feminine figures who wanted uh, you to thrive in your life whether you're masculine feminine doesn't matter you also have the sun in Six house and this clearly uh, creates a certain distinction about you and how other people in your niche do your uh, do their work so there's something royal about how you do your work compared to other people in your niche so uh, let's say if you are a reader then people would consider you the type of reader who does it in a dignified way or um, if you're for for example i don't know a healer you always uh how do i say mm, or astrologer uh 
for example, uh, you don't, you never trust your ethical codes, or uh, if you are a lawyer, you know, your client secrets are safe with you. So something has grown about your reputation in your professional circles. So we do have the Mars in Gemini, and people are feeling that your posts are more provocative lately. Uh, they are more thought provoking for whatever reason. Your crush feels this way. Uh, your crush feels like you are a smooth talker. And as, as I said, women like you for a lot of you. So yeah, but I feel like I'm going to conclude it here uh, for the pile. I hope you guys enjoyed this small report. If you did, maybe check one of the others uh, for more of the material. And if not, see you in the next reading. Bye-bye. So for those of you who chose this have So we have this Taurus uh, first house energy. So I'm almost getting that for some of you, you have a reputation of somebody who is good for women's health. So this can be literal. Some of you may be a gynecologist or those of you who are interested in women are a very healthy partner to them. Uh, or for the others, if you are a healer, um, you're somebody who can really heal feminine energy or psychologist or however there's a way where you contribute to the health of people and you are especially good uh, for women in your environment so this is something that your trash may have noticed uh, you will know how it pertains in your concrete situation uh, but there is an aspect correlated to that and also with the Mars in house it's almost like a lot of you have have transmuted your aggression it's almost like your aggression your masculine energy comes in a very comes out in a very healed in a very transcendent transcended uh, state of affairs so it's almost like you find ways to healthily channel your masculine energies regardless whether you are a guy or a girl we all have energies so um, this is something that your crush feels. There's something about your intellect that they are turned on and how your masculine energy is manifested in your uh, intellect because it's almost like they feel like uh, your intellect intellect is powered uh, by your masculine energy somehow, some way, and this allows you to thrive in life. And this is what they... If they don't know this directly, they kind of sense this, they uh, kind of get turned on uh, by this for a lot of you. If you are feminine, you are crushed, your crush is really admiring your uh, chest area. Because I mean, even here we have this devil card, however she is with the snake coiled around her. Uh, this reminds me of that Asclepius wand. We do have rebirth here. So a lot of you are somehow, some way uh, connected with the healing, even with the sun. You derive a lot of joy from your uh, beginnings, from your initial phases in life. 
uh, from beginnings of your project, beginnings of new professional endeavors with King of Pentacles here. Uh, you are very happy when you are finishing one phase in, of your profession and starting another. Uh, when you are embracing new contracts, your crush feels like that there's special charisma to you, to you correlated to that aspect and in general. Uh, it's almost like they have rediscovered some sort of um, futuristic side to you uh, and almost somewhat devilish side that they haven't recognized initially. So we do have that aspect. This person is very aroused by your intellect. It's almost like they want to um, sex your brain. Uh, is the vibe that I'm getting. So this is something very enticing for them. Uh, this is something that captures their attention. Uh, they almost feel like you surgically see through the bullshit uh, and all kinds of uh, hard truths is what I would uh, express here. So they almost feel like they can hide anything from you uh, and that you won't allow them uh, to hide anything. And it's almost like this person gets even more turned on when you uh, kind of slightly energetically punish them uh, for some sort of uh, hic hiccup that they create or a mistake that they do. Uh, they allow how you don't allow them. Uh, you don't allow them to get away with things. You do have the five swords reversed and the empress reversed. You're not a pushover, uh, however, you're not somebody up for fighting, up for arguing, uh, but should the need arise, I mean, you can fight physically for a lot of you, this is something that I am getting. You do have the King of Pentacles reversed and Justice is here. Your crush see, is viewing you as somebody who is not after people uh, for what they are. Uh, for what they own, for what they possess, and this is incredibly encouraging from, for them because they could be uh, in somewhat of a more tumultuous phase or something, or they could be saving a lot for some sort of future powerful deal. You're bringing a lot of joy uh, to your crush, a lot of giddiness, a lot of positive energy, a lot of this desire to jump uh, on some sort of a field with you, just you two holding your hands and uh, they want to bounce with you basically. So your person feels like uh, you made their day, uh, especially when you post something, they eagerly wait for your post because they feel like uh, it's almost the highlight of their day is what I would say. So. If you're somebody who has some sort of a content, they devour every little uh, bit of your content or if you have online media presence. So your crush could also be viewing you as somebody who diligently stays away from third party situation and they uh, respect you for that. This is something that I have to say. Uh, so. If there is a pinch of per third party in the air, you are out of the game. So, yeah, I just feel like this person uh, has grown and cultivated much more respect for you than they had initially. It's not like they didn't have respect, but they didn't have that devilish side of wanting to provoke uh, and find out like where your boundaries uh, basically stand. But your crush views you as somebody who is like this devilish temptation, this handsome woman or a man who uh, they shouldn't be attracting or chasing per se, but they still can't resist you nonetheless. Uh, so your crush sees you as somebody who could uh, endanger a lot of people by, by telling their secrets or by revealing what has really transpired in, in the situation. Uh, it's almost like they could be feeling like you could have thrown them under the bus, however, you haven't done that. Uh, 
especially for some of those for those of you who shared some sort of work environment with your crush there was something work sensitive about you and them uh, that they feel like you could really have thrown them under the bus however you haven't so and we do have the Aphrodite which is lovers your crush feels like you're an exceptionally uh, attractive and beautiful person for some of you it's kind of uh, natural without you even trying yeah, but if you like this small report give it a small like uh, so that it reaches more people you do have the Rahu in 11th house, so your crush feel you attract very exotic friendships. Uh, friendships with people who are outcasts or uh, have some aspect of not really belonging to the general or mainstream uh, society. So uh, we have January, so something may have happened in January. It's, uh, or your their birthday may be in January because you also have King of Pentacles here, which is like Capricorn. Uh, there's a factor to that. Let me see what else. We do have the South Node in uh, Fifth House. For some of you, your crush sees you as somebody great uh, with children, but who doesn't want children because South Node. Could, could the note the lessons we ups, uh, how do say absolved in our previous lifetimes uh, and so in this lifetime there's no uh, an excessive need for that so uh, for some of you your crush does see that but they still see that this incredibly charming uh, way of yours with children uh, and with animals definitely sensing animal charmers here uh, Let's see, definitely with the Taurus in first house, your crush feels like you would be the most attractive partner that they ever had, uh, and Queen of Wands here, so combined with Star, you could be somebody who loves Aquarian or Aquarian type of people, uh, or you have passion for uh, healing guards, healing yourself, healing animals. Uh, even I'm hearing like he healing places. Some of you have the gift of energetic clearing of the places somehow, some way. I'm definitely sensing powerful healers of spaces here. Uh, or this would be something that you will grow uh, into. Uh, it could have already intrigued your interest, but... Uh, that's something that's definitely in the cards. Your crush feels like you are the, you are this charismatic king or queen. Uh, parties are basically uh, weak and dull without your presence. I will have to say it honestly. For some of you, your crush could be wondering like uh, how do I say? whether they are too boring for you because they feel like you have a lot more interesting people than them uh, happening around you so they feel like they want a new beginning with you they feel like they want to talk honestly about everything especially those of you who relate with third party scenarios uh, they want to explain why they hadn't given properly with the Empress Reverse the Empress has fallen, but we are at the end of our reading. If you are masculine or more in the masculine fame, your crush really I'm getting appreciates the build of your muscles, your constitution. Even if you have like curves somewhere, they appreciate how tall. Uh, I'm hearing the lines of your body. You can see how he has beautifully shaped arms. Uh, definitely, definitely the lines of your body, of your arms, of your hands. Uh, everything is just so very uh, pretty to them. Yeah, but I feel like I'm going to conclude it here for the pile. I hope you guys enjoyed this small report. If you did, maybe listen to one of the other piles as well to get some more uh, material. But if not, see you in the next reading. Bye-bye. those who chose this come
Wow, you do have a lot of reversals. I'm not gonna lie, this is the one that there has been some conflict with. Uh, your crush could be feeling that you taught them a thing or two on how to treat uh, masculines or feminines in a positive and up or uplifting way. It's almost for it's almost like for some of them, like you gave them a lesson in their toxic masculinity or whatever they had that they that kind of caused the issues between you two, like mother wound, father wound. I'm definitely sensing something related to that. <clears throat> you do have betrayal reversed and king of swords reversed. I'm almost getting that for some of you, you feel like your crush has betrayed you. However, they haven't. They have just failed to communicate that to you because there's something behind the scenes that uh, was going on <clears throat> uh, like as per the reasons and motivations uh, on why they did some things that they did. Uh, they have failed to communicate this to you and now uh, they feel uh, like you feel like they betrayed you however they haven't and they are eagerly waiting for an opportunity to announce that and to show to you. We do have the Knight of Wands. So your crush feels like you're this quite a free spirit uh, type of a person who did a lot of healings. Maybe you healing on yourself. Maybe you are somebody who will, I don't know, do Reiki treatments or do acupuncture or uh, allow uh, energetic healers to work on you. I'm he hearing like remote healing for some of you. Uh, that is something that you may have. <clears throat> worked with on your healing journey you do have the inner calling reversed and movement for some of you your crush could be feeling like you are in too many things it's almost like you will burn out since inner calling is reversed it's almost like they feel sometimes that you may kind of miss out on your true life mission uh, because you are trying so many things and so you are so eager uh, for life you have all that zest for life but they as i said sometimes feel like you may uh overly exert yourself to the point of exhaustion to the point of having to take recuperation phases but they simultaneously love this about you they love that you are not just somebody who will be for a lot of you for one night stand so uh for a lot of you, you have that energy of not really being well up for that and they recognize and love that because we do have the Ace of Wands reverse, which this would denote basically to me that no, uh, somebody can call you uh, 3 a.m. for a booty call or something like that. No offense for, for those who are all up uh, for that. It's just that maybe this is, would not be your pile. Um, <clears throat> as your way of expressing love and passion could be different, like your Venus could be in fire signs, like in Aries or uh, Leo potentially, so that could be one of the reasons uh, why 
or in one of the more fiery houses so you always have to take everything into consideration <clears throat> But your crush could be feeling like you have closed off uh, the love that you had for them, that you uh, are not giving them any tenderness anymore or something like that. Uh, because they may have had to make, have had to create some sort of a difficult choice or uh, they did something that, uh, that would to an, an experience your look as them betraying you or something like that. However, it wasn't. Uh, it's just that there's more behind the scenes to their reasons why they did something. You do have the tours in 8th house. Your crush shoes you as somebody who has exercised your booty area. You may be formed it in a beautiful way or something like that. Or you may have very feminine that part. Uh, but we also have Mercury third house, so they love to hear you speak, they love to hear see you write, they love how you express yourself. Uh, and they would want if you wrote more things, even if uh, on a small basis, like descriptions of posts and, and uh, like text messages, they would even like more text messages from you. Uh, if you relate in a sense where you communicated with them that way, so you do have judgment reverse so they see you as somebody on whom they may have made some sort of a wrong judgment in the past to create some sort of a pause it's almost like they wanted the pause however however they didn't want uh, a breakdown in a communication uh, and they feel like this was a wrong decision that this has severely uh, taken away from the stability of the connection with the Nine of Pentacles reversed, prosperity. So there's that. If you haven't created or uh, written to them lately, they are wondering like why with the King of Swords reversed, like why are you withholding the communication. I'm almost getting that like they get an aspect of that, but they then they don't get the whole picture as to why. So there's a definite element of that. But your crush also feels like you are basically slaying the dragons lately with the, these nine of wands. It's almost like you are on the mission uh, lately and they feel like you have some kind of really high personal private purpose outlined in your brain and they don't know what it is but they are dying to know basically so this is something that they kind of perceive about you currently you do have the moon in 10th house where your crush feels like you're somebody <clears throat> who is known as well this can go two ways for some of you either you are very emotional you fluctuate a lot in your emotions and for the others you have learned to put that under your control so you have learned to stabilize your emotion and not to allow them to control you some of you almost did some some type of yogic or psychological uh social work on yourself on your social anxiety maybe uh, you are uh, seeming to people as somebody who is more socially oriented, orientated now with the moon in 10th house. So we do have the Mars in 1st house. So your crush is viewing you as somebody who is uh, ferocious to your chosen endeavors is what I'm sensing. So you could also have a lot of healthy drive, healthy stamina to complete all your goals. So, yeah, for some of you will be uh, like slightly temperamental, but you are utilizing it very well. Uh, we do have the sun in 10th house, so they feel like you're somebody who will really uh, do something majestic when it comes to your career. Uh, but for most of you, it will be something new that you start, not your 
old or long term type of career, but it's just something pioneering that you do uh, and it takes off very quickly and makes you uh, very authoritative in quite a short time. So let's see what else we do. Uh, For some of you, your crush could be feeling that they misjudged their approach to you and how they should uh, try to woo and court you. It's almost like they, for some of you, they could have done something slightly not 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 that great or more on the nasty side because they felt like you were would be the type who likes some fieriness in your connection. However, you could be the completely opposite of that and uh, this has now uh, really downgraded the situation. Uh, that's something that I'm getting definite element correlated to that. They also feel like they made a difficult choice that uh, stalled their growth and it pertains to you uh, basically. So they feel like you, would la you are somebody who would thrive in an old fashioned romance. Uh, this is something evident and definite in this one. Uh, they feel like you are very harsh and unforgiving, but they get like why. Uh, they would want to save their face about something extremely reckless that they did, said. King of Swords, uh, reverse, can denote somebody who cast you out or uh, who said some really... Uh, how do I say, some ambiguous thing that you wouldn't really uh, say to a person whom you dig in some way, shape or form. So uh, they wish they could have eaten their words or something like that. I, on, I wish I hadn't said that is what I'm hearing. Uh, I wish I hadn't ended the situation uh, with them. They created some sort of Finality is what I'm hearing and they wish uh, they hadn't done that. So there's a definite element that relates to that aspect. Yeah, but I feel like I'm going to conclude it here for the pile. I hope you guys enjoyed this small report. If you did, maybe listen to one of the other piles as well to get some more materials. And if not, uh, we'll see you in the next reading. Thank you for listening and bye-bye.